Hello. Rain will clear Scotland overnight, leading to a fairly widespread frost before further wet and windy weather on Wednesday. But there is still some heavy rain to come for Orkney, for the far northeast of the mainland for the rest of the evening before eventually that pushes into Shetland and then turns to showers. Very windy for Shetland overnight, gales or even severe gales in places. But elsewhere across Scotland, yeah, there'll be some patchy cloud, uh, one or two spots of rain as well. But for many, it's clear skies and plunging temperatures, with temperatures fairly widely dipping close to, if not below freezing. Minus two to minus four Celsius wouldn't be out of the question in some sheltered spots. So for Shetland, it's a windy start because of low pressure close to here and tight isobars between Shetland and uh, Scandinavia. But for the rest of Scotland, lighter winds, clearer skies for a time before the next weather system moves in from the southwest. And that, after a chilly but bright start for many, will bring some heavy rain with it. That rain reaching the Western Isles, reaching Dumfries and Galloway by 8 a.m. And then it moves fairly swiftly, actually, through the morning across the central belt into central parts of Scotland. A few flakes of snow over the mountains before it turns more showery and pushes into the far north by the end of the afternoon. Showers then replace the rain with some lively downpours, particularly towards the southwest and an increasing wind. Still gales for Shetland, gusts of 50, 60 mile per hour winds, uh, even higher in some exposed spots. So it could have some impacts on the ferries, for example. But elsewhere across Scotland, it's blustery. There'll be showers, but there'll also be some sunshine in between. And temperatures a little below average for the time of year, six or seven Celsius generally. Now into the evening, we're going to see further showers spread across Scotland, uh, the south and the west bearing the brunt of those downpours, clearer spells towards the north and the northeast. However, if it stays windy in Shetland, that wind eventually coming down for Thursday. A uh, blustery start though for many with further showers for a time, a brighter interlude around lunchtime, and then the next band of rain moving through from the southwest, along with, again, a strengthening wind. So the weather highly changeable over the next few days yet again. These systems coming in quickly from the Atlantic, but also clearing quickly. And temperatures a little higher on Thursday, it's worth saying. And the wind's coming from a south to southwest direction. So we're looking at double figures for southern and southwestern areas. I'd say nine or eight Celsius for central and northern areas. And then the end of the week looks mostly fine. A brighter interlude for Friday before further spells of very wet weather on Saturday.